Hello folks, this is A Automotive Reviews. Today we have news about the 2021 Ford Bronco and how the body panels are made out of, out of steel and aluminium. Now ever since Ford introduced the aluminium body panels on the 13th generation Ford F-150, beginning back in 2015 model year, the automaker had explored the use of mixed material construction on other vehicles including the Ford Explorer. So it's fair to wonder what material exactly make up the panels of the 2021 Ford Bronco. And surpri unsurprisingly, Ford used a mixture of steel and aluminum in the new off-roader. And quite honestly, it looks quite awesome, folks. I mean, just look at that. I mean, this is where you want to be in your Ford Bronco. Just driving along the mountainside. Just moving along. Now here we have boron steel roll bar. We have al aluminum tailgate. We have aluminum rear fenders. We have steel frame and floor. And we also have aluminum front fenders. And we also have a aluminum hood. And it's just straight up awesome folks. Straight up awesome. awesome. Now a large portion of the body of the 2021 Ford Bronco is made from lightweight aluminum. Now this includes the hood, the front fenders, the rear fender, the doors, and the tailgates. Now meanwhile, steel was used to construct the Bronco's frame and floor. The sport tube and a cage are made from boron steel as well. And the aluminum panels, the steel panels, well, we have the uh, frame, the floor, and the sport tube cage, the ultra strength steel and the boron steel straight up awesome yeah the hood and the front fenders and the rear fenders and the door tailgate all being made of uh, aluminium panels now the use of materials makes a lot of sense as extensive presence of aluminium on the exterior helps save considerable weight exactly how many pounds the aluminium panels shave off the bronco curb weight is unknown but it's likely significant. Plus, while aluminum is still corrosive, it is more corrosion resistant than steel. Meanwhile, the use of steel in key areas ensure the structure of the Bronco will be able to hold up to the beating that the vehicle is designed to take off-road. And in the event that the SUV roll over, the Berlin steel cage adds the necessary welcome element of safety which is just straight up awesome folks. Now this is a, now I can say that be, Boron still being used on the Bronco is really nice folks. And I think the Bronco is, is one of the first SUVs to use Boron still. And that makes a hell of a lot of sense because it's going to be a lot stronger than than the competition. And I believe that the Jeep is not competition for the Bronco because I don't think that the sales are going to be affected in any way. They may lose some sales, but not many, not much because the Jeep has such a dedicated following and the Bronco also has a dedicated following too. And it's just going to, you know, a lot of people love Ford. Now, overall, a targeted use of aluminum and steel on the all new Bronco delivers the best of both worlds approach that Ford has been honing for several years now on his various other you know on the various other products that Ford has we'll have much you know there's much more to say about this but this is just straight up awesome we're going to look it back into this construction a little bit farther and it's going to we're going to dig deep down into the rabbit hole if there is a rabbit hole to dig dig <laughs> dig deep down into now introduce the aluminum body panels Now, the aluminum body panels on the Ford F-150, which was also tested. Now, if you still have any lingering reservations about the strength and safety of the 2015 Ford F-150 and the weight savings aluminum body, um, they had a video out by the Insurance Institute on uh, highway safety that might help you ease your mind regarding the Ford Bronco. Now, the full-size aluminum body uh, Ford F-150 pickup was an IHS top safety pick for the 2016 model year. 
where only the Super Crew Cab configuration was awarded in 2015. Now that was thanks to an extra front frame component on the Ford F-150 Super Crew, which afforded the truck improved resilience and the front small overlap task component, which have since been added to the smaller Super Cab. Now regardless of the Institute crash test finding in 2015 and later the Ford F-150 pickups, it suggests that the truck's aluminum body poses no detriment to crash safety. Now, the video by, a, by, by the Institute of Highway Safety um, stated that the, uh, it goes over another important consideration in regards to aluminum versus steel dilemma. Now, affordability of repair. Now, according to the IHS, the 2015-16 Ford F-150 ought to cost an additional 20% 26% more for a given body repair than a steel body 2014 model year truck. So that made a big difference. You're talking about 26%. To be sure that a 26% increase in repair costs is nothing to ignore, but it's hardly a deal breaker. Now that many pundits have forecasts. So that could be a That, you know, I'm just stuck thinking about that and seeing how that can be a positive thing, but affordability of repair and then how that's going to affect the Ford Bronco. Just saying that Ford is a used to, um, they're, they're using boron steel and using aluminum. They're no, it's not new to them. And this is what's going to make it, you know, to the 2021 Ford Bronco credit. Which is just straight up amazing, folks. Weight saving aluminum body, which is definitely, definitely nice. You have to save weight in certain instances. And that's what's um, considering, you know, now that we know that Ford is no stranger to the, to using uh, aluminum. Now let's see about mixed material construction and the use of mixed material construction in making the Ford Bronco. Now let's go back and, but in order to do that, we gotta go back and look at some of the Ford other products. Now back in, back in 2015, Ford made a bold decision to move the incredibly powerful and popular F-150 truck to an aluminum body to save weight to help the truck perform better in all metrics. Now since then, it hasn't leaned on aluminum so much and any of his other offerings, including the critical 2020 Explorer SUV. Now the issue with using lots of aluminum is one of cost. It's a much more expensive material than steel. Now driving the price of materials up, which in turn drives the price of the vehicle up. So they couldn't make it all out of, you know, you can't make the, the Ford Bronco out of uh, aluminum because it would be cost, it would drive the car up, you know, and cost through the roof. Now Ford does use aluminum on the 2020 Ford Explorer, but it also uses steel, magnesium, and plastic. Now Explorer Chief Engineer Bill Gubbing says that the weight was a factor in every decision that Ford made in the all-new Explorer. And it's also going to be a weight and it's going to be a factor in also making the 2021 Ford Bronco. And so just saying that Ford is no stranger to using um, all aluminum and, you know, you know, that they consider using all aluminum, but they also have to keep the price down. You got to keep the price down to $30,000 for the Ford Bronco. And so they had to make it a mixture. And they did, they, they made a great mixture of this. And this is what straight up awesome folks. And this is what make the, this is what makes the, uh, this is what's going to make the Bronco a hit. Now the new approach to saving weight is a part of the decline in uh, oil prices and the fuel cheaper. And the vehicle shopper is less inclined to focus on fuel economy than they may have been in the past. Now, the, now the move also reflects that the fact that Ford is offering, you know, the Bronco. They're gonna have a, you know, they're definitely gonna have a Bronco hybrid, and they're definitely gonna, you know, that's all gonna come out between now and 2025. But, you know, back to the, back to um, the decision to stay predominantly with steel is also due to the steel industry coming up with lighter and and stronger steel, which is that boron steel, which is supposed to be the strongest steel. And that's what Ford is using for the 2021 Ford Bronco. And, 
you know the way that they did that mixture is also going to make the Ford Bronco perhaps 20, 200 pounds lighter. And that's just awesome. That's just awesome. And also the chassis is going to be lighter and stiffer. Um, 36% more increase in torsional stiffness compared to the, you know, and that's in, and they did that with the Explorer. So they, they're going to just take the same engineering and science over to the Ford Bronco and just make it all the more an awesome SUV. Guys, this is a automotive reviews. And this is just a quick, quick jibber and jabber on the uh, Ford Bronco and the use of the um, mixture of materials such as boron steel, the aluminum, and the different use of plastics and everything else that's going into play with this Ford Bronco, making it sturdy and making it strong so it can do the off-road things, the off-road magic and the tricks, and do it in a strong, strong, solid way. Great engineering, folks. This is A Automotive Reviews. Thanks for watching. Remember, like, share, and subscribe, and have a fantastic day. A Automotive Reviews, we're out. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe for more interesting videos.